Hello there everyone, it's B speaking and I come here to you today with a slightly belated monthly favorites video but it's just because I really wanted to share some of the products I have here and some of the music and things and also for the purpose of your convenience I will be linking every single thing I mentioned down below in the down bar so if you like everything just click on it and you can get it or look at it or whatever you want to do and I think we shall get going because there's quite a lot of things. We're gonna start with the tangible things and the first thing I want to talk about is the NYX Wonder Stick. Um, I got it at BeautyCon and you can see a haul that I did for BeautyCon in my previous video. I'm gonna also link it down below. It's a lot of cool stuff. And this is basically a contour stick, but to me what makes it special is the fact that it's not as orange as others, I guess. It's more of a kind of cold tone brown color and it works really well just to kind of slenderize your face, I guess. And I really recommend it. NYX is a lovely brand for a really affordable price, which is always good. I've been looking for a product that would kind of replace a Color Sonic for me for a long time. And I just wasn't feeling, you know, like spending $300 on a face cleanser because I just didn't think I would use it as much. And I found a great alternative and this is called the Spin for Perfect Skin System. And it looks like that has a really cool black handle and has four exchangeable brushes which is always great and so far i've been really loving the exfoliator brush for when i really want to get all of my makeup off when i want to put on a really heavy moisturizer afterwards there's also this another brush that's more for just cleansing your skin and this just feels much softer and more gentle on your face then I've been really into dry brushing recently and it's something kind of, it's a new trend that's been going around and it's basically just lymphatic drainage of your body. You can do this on your back area, on your neck, on your legs and it just kind of helps your body de-bloat itself and this brush is great for that. You can use it wet as well but I just really enjoy it for that dry brushing technique and you just change these things and put that on and it spins. Wait. Woo! Fun times. Also, there's this odd like kind of coral brush that I think is meant for exfoliating like the bottoms or the hard skin on your feet, but I've never really used it. Also, because I was awesome enough to contact the company and ask them, I will be getting you guys a coupon code. And originally this product is, I just got a text message. It is $100, which I think is very reasonable for four brush heads, but you guys can get it for $30. Wow, this doesn't sound like advertising at all. It's actually not, I'm just really enthusiastic because that's so cheap. It's like $30 for all of this. I think it's pretty great. And I've been using this for around a month and I've actually noticed a really big difference because it unclogs your pores, it kind of makes your face look cleaner, no spots, no nothing. My skin is absolutely clear and it doesn't matter what brush you use, you can use a clear sonic. But this is just an option if you guys want to get something cheaper that's still really good quality. The next two things I've been really enjoying have been uh, both Tarte products and this one is the Tarte Gifted Mascara and the Tarte Showstopper Palette. The fact that the packaging of these things is so beautiful makes you appreciate the product so much more, but this mascara is actually really, really great. It is natural, it has Amazonian clay in it, which I guess makes it kind of really thicken your lashes and layer the mascara up. Recently, I've been all for crazy, like, long lashes and nearly no other makeup, so this has been working great. And if I ever wanna go all out with my makeup, then I have this palette and it has some very natural kind of everyday eyeshadow shades right here on the bottom and then a bronzer color that I've never used yet but it looks really like lovely and an orange again and a highlighter shade that I've been really loving. All of these are so pigmented and the blush I love as well, it's in the color Fame. And it's an overall amazing palette with great pigmentation for a very reasonable price. Next up in the series of tangible items, I have this body chain that I got from Free people and it's really difficult to actually understand what it is if it's just like oh yeah yeah here you go I think this is one of the best 30 pounds I've spent in my entire life because I would have never thought that you could wear this in so many different ways you can basically put it on absolutely any outfit and it immediately makes you look like you put in so much effort and I put it on as a belt for my hosier concert but you can also wear it like that wait you can wear it as a body chain you can also put your arms through these holes this looks really strange. <laughs> and wear it like that, and it just looks so cool, especially on top of like really simple t-shirts and sweatshirts, which I wear quite a lot of. So, uh, free people, you got it really, really right this time, and I genuinely love it so much. Hello.
Um, the next thing I want to talk about is slightly more serious and it is a documentary I watched that completely changed my perception of the importance of the environment and caring about environmental issues and living not for yourself but for the benefit of the world and actually giving a shit about things and it's called Cowspiracy and it basically talks about um, animal agriculture and its impact on the environment we live in and this movie genuinely taught me so many interesting facts. It's basically like a fun facts book put into a movie and it was so interesting and I definitely recommend watching it if you're um, either an environmentalist, like to call yourself that, or are just curious about what the hell's happening in the world. Next I want to talk about an app I found completely randomly scrolling on Facebook when you just have those like random little posts. Tinder, but for music, and it's called Chusic and it's recently been my go-to when I want to find music for my videos because sometimes it's really difficult when um, you have to search through SoundCloud and you just can't find anything. It throws you music that you would like based on your Facebook and the sort of music genres you like. It opens up and then you get a song that starts playing. I'll turn on sound. For example, I like this song so I will swipe it right. You won't match with anything because it's just music, but you can afterwards go on to your playlists and actually listen to all of the songs that you swiped right on for free, which is pretty amazing. And I just think it's such a wonderful way of just discovering new music because I'm a music junkie and for me this app was such a discovery because I use it all the time. I have so many new songs and just kind of gets you out of your loop of like listening to the same thing over and over. Now continuing on with the same music theme and you guys know that I love music and you seem to really enjoy my music taste, which I am very grateful for. Honestly, to me, it's like the best compliment ever. The first song I've fallen in love with this month is Shalou's The Quiet and I think it's a demo version. I just found it on SoundCloud. And by the way, if you guys want to follow me, if you're curious what sort of music I listen to, I post a lot of it on there and my SoundCloud is just Chanelegans. This song, for some reason, I could you not have listened to about 150 times, and it's not even that special, but I just love it for some reason, and it's called um, Han Top to Toe. I'm falling top to toe, falling. In love, but my heart's not there. I'm falling top to toe, falling. In love, but my heart's not there. The last song just kind of really associates to me when me and my best friend went on a bike ride around Durham and just kind of enjoyed the nature and there were horses and the weather was beautiful and this song is by a Latvian band that is very iconic and it's called Brainstorm. And this song is called Mekla Etviena Motra, which means one searching for another. And it just has such beautiful lyrics. And I know you probably don't understand Latvian, but the song is very special to me, so. I'm sorry for this mini melancholic slash cathartic ending, but if you had fun hanging out with me today, then it would make me really happy if you would check out some of my other videos. Maybe I have a playlist called Personal Favorites that are all of my personal favorite videos if you want to look at them. And also give this video a thumbs up. That'd be great. There's a little button down there in the corner somewhere and just click that and yeah, be a cool munchkin. Again, if any of the things I mentioned caught your eye, then all of the links for anything are down below in the description box. The camera just turned off, but I'll say it again. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I love all of you. See you in my next video and goodbye. Do -do -do.